My name is Jackie Jones. I'm a parishioner at Christchurch Higher Bebbington on the Wirral. How I come back to faith was quite extraordinary, really. I hadn't been looking to turn to faith or turn back to faith. At the end of lockdown, I've watched a couple of online services at the local church and they'd organised a walk. Um, I joined in on a couple of these walks. It was just local community and parishioners, etc. Um, on the way back on one of the walks, we ended up stopping for coffee in the local coffee shop and I ended up sitting with the associate vicar from my local church and we just got talking. And when I look back at it, I actually grilled her. I was asking how she'd come to faith um, and her story, and she wasn't preaching, she was just telling me all about how she'd come to faith and some of the work that she does and so on. When I got up and walked away, I just felt as though something had turned in me, just totally unexpected. And I heard myself saying, it has to be now. Um, and then I said, but God, where do I go from here? And I heard myself singing, take my life and let it be, always only, always for thee. Um, and when I got home, I prayed and I said, God, I need to go forward and now is the time. Uh, which was quite good, but it was quite daunting as well. So I did attend at the local church and I needed to have a few chats because I couldn't understand how I could be accepted by God the same as everybody else who had been members of the church and Christians for virtually all their lives. Um, but it was pointed out to me about the local landowner who pays his parishioners um, the same wage for whatever time they've done the work. Uh, so that was quite reassuring, but it was quite hard to accept at first. Um, I got quite involved with the church. Um, in fact, I, <laughs> husband thinks I live there. Um, I'm quite involved in the children's work that goes on, and I felt I had a lot more to give, so I embarked on a foundation to ministry course, which was quite good. And I've now come into the end of my first year of pastoral worker training. And I think that is good because I know that the love God has got for me. And it's good to be able to work with people and hopefully some of that love will be manifest over to them and so they can see that God loves them as well.